Serge, you gotta go all the way. You gotta go all the way. You're in a half space. The minute they play it there, you going and creates the space behind you. All right? Ready? Here we go. Good. Press. Hunt. Good. Set. Good. All right. Let's go the other way. Okay. Welcome to St. Nice Louis. To see you. Nice you. to see you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's been uh, amazing. The last uh, day I've been watching you guys, you know, and uh, seeing, obviously, you've been getting a first-hand experience of uh, what St. Louis has to offer and this amazing facility and, you know, going through around. Give me, what do you think about it so far? Well, the intensity was pretty impressive in training yeah. from what I saw today. That's a balance, right? So it's the end of the season. So we have guys on the roster that, you know, potentially some of them are not always going to be remaining on the roster. So how do we deal with this at the moment? We still have two important games coming up, a friendly game against Chicago and then obviously the game against Leverkusen. So, you know, we try to find a good balance this week of fun, intensity, enjoyment, you know, and uh, today was a little bit of the tactical side. Step up, Aaron Hurd, step up. Atmosphere seems to be good between the players. Yeah, I mean, guys staying after, enjoying it. And, and that's a joy to watch. And this is the type of group and the type of character and the culture that we've tried to create from day one. Here we go. Good. Open up weak side. Yes. And then I'm really interested in uh, some of your more uh, tactical ideas and yeah. details. Okay, so we want to play up one way. Once we break this line with a six and now we can break their two strikers. And now we're in action. Lutz and Bradley, they have a very defined way of playing. Is that a challenge adjusting to it? Yeah, when it, when it becomes, you know, tactical, um, like obviously it always takes some adjustment. Um, we're fortunate that we're in a position where guys were willing and able to do um, the work. And we kind of came together really quickly as a team. From my personal standpoint, I thought it was going to take a while for us to figure things out. But I mean, credit to the group, credit to the coaching staff and everyone involved with this organization. Um, and the preparation that was put into, you know, scouting players and putting together a team that was able to compete from day one. And, you know, as a player, it's always nice when you're part of something like that, where you have other people around you to kind of make something special. And, and that's what we did this season. Can you get 11 guys on the field in a whole bunch of different situations with the ball, without the ball, thinking the same thing? And that's, that's basically what they tried to instill is they're like, here's how we want you guys to think. You know, you go into a locker room and you see guys interact with each other and it's, it feels like we've been together for years, you know, and even the guys that just joined us recently from Europe, I mean, they're settling in well. How you doing, bro? Doing all right? What's up, Roman? Yeah, How's it going? We all are working towards a common goal, which is, you know, to better ourselves and, and, and to win games and, you know, to, to create something special. For me, if it's different if it's plantains. Because yeah. people always think like plantains and banana yeah, yeah. is the same, but it's not. It's not the same? You can, you can have teams that are doing well, but don't have a good team. I think we were winning, but also we had a good team. You know, we fought for each other, we did things together, and I think you can already see that taking shape with a lot of the first team guys that are already here. And I have no doubt that, you know, that will continue into the start of next year. You know, you can use it for what he, what he, what you boil it yeah. in hot water, okay. it becomes soft and you just pound it, eat it with soup. For me, this is banana. <laughs> <laughs> What would you like to know about how we want to do things? Loads of stuff. I mean, this is uh, 4222. Two, two. I thought you'd be system? proud of me. <laughs> is that your system? Yeah, well, we vary, you know, in depending on the opposition, we could uh, set up like this, 4231, which I think is a very interesting formation, especially the way we want to play. You know, we obviously in possession of the ball, when we do have the ball, we can have mechanisms built in where we could rotate higher up the field. I believe in this wholeheartedly, and for me, it's a, it's a joy just coming to work knowing that we've created something from nothing here in St. Louis and that we can play a style of football that Lutz, myself, the club, the ownership, we've all bought into a certain style of play which promotes excitement, which promotes a connection with the community. And your pressing is more ball oriented rather than men oriented. One hundred percent. Yeah, they are. and that's the way we gain our overloads. For me, the principles are the the most important thing. 
from pre-season. You know, we've come strong with our principles and we've shown um, numerous times, whether it's been in training or whether it's been our own best practices or best game scenarios, I think we could pose a lot of problems um, for Western Conference teams. But um, these are one of the tools and weapons that we feel that we could gain an advantage. But it's not just saying it, we have to do it. <laughs> That's why you're pass passing 75%. You want those gegenpressing moments? Yeah, we want to be brave and play vertical, you know? So we feel if we go back and around and side, you know, the opposition can always orientate itself, you know, if you play slow. We want to play quick, we want to play exciting, we want to, you know, entertain the fans that come to the stadium. And yeah, this is the, the game model that we like to implement and uh, we feel excited about here in St. Louis. Next, I had a chance to sit down with international players Roman Burki and Tomasz Ostrak to learn more about how they're settling into their American team as well as their expectations for the season. The season's over, but the season's kind of starting. How do you feel about playing here for the first time soon? I'm, and I think I can speak for the whole team that we are really excited to, to play this game against a very good opponent. Yeah, I think everyone is excited to play the first game against Leverkusen, against the Bundesliga team, so we are really excited. And it's fitting that it's Leverkusen in a way, because there are a lot of Bundesliga connections in the team, in the club. Especially now with uh, Edu and Klaus, Thomas, me, um, Joachim, like players who played in the Bundesliga, who, who know did they know how, how, how they play and how good they are? What do you think it will feel like stepping onto this pitch for the first time in an MLS game at home? Yeah, I would definitely be a little bit nervous, even though I, I or we are used to playing in front of um, a lot of people. Um, but still, it's just a whole new thing, a new stadium, uh, new fans. You, you have a little bit of pressure, you want to do good, you're concentrated. And... Nervous in a good way. Exactly. Yeah. I've been managing fields for a little over 20 years. And I understand this pitch is a little bit different than regular pitches, is that true? Uh, it, there's a lot of technology, there's a lot of investment from the ownership. The, the big challenge is, is trying to keep it alive in those colder months and make it safe for the athletes and, and play well. So we've got heat, we've got lights, um, we, we're using grow blankets, we're using all kinds of technology so that we can have a, a, a safe pitch year round. And you said you're prioritizing safety for the players. What does that mean, actually? Well, I, uh, in, in high school, I was injured playing a sporting event, and I found out that as a profession, I could try to make the field safer for the athletes. And so really, it's a lot about consistency of the surfaces between the training pitches and the, and the stadium pitch. I mean, what we're really trying to do is get the grass strong enough that player can receive the, the ball, can plant, can turn, but that grass will give before their ligaments give. The real fun and challenge is gonna be is, will this pitch be exactly, will it play exactly the same in March as it does in June and July? Is there anything that keeps you up at night? Everything. You know, this is, this is great. I mean, like I said, with the, with the match coming up, I, uh, I'm only sleeping about two, three hours a night because I'm so excited and I'm checking everything. And I'm, I have a, an amazing staff, so I'm very confident in what we're doing, but I still, I, I can't turn it off. I'm, I'm so excited. What's your general feeling? Well, I knew you before, so I thought it could be, could be interesting, could be uh, promising, uh, but I think it's, it's a very exciting project. And uh, we really had to work a lot. I mean, then you're coming out here and then, you know, every day you see a stadium like that, it just gives you the, gives you the chills. It's, it's really absolutely brilliant. It's one of the most modern facilities in the United States when it comes to innovation, when it comes to connectivity. So it's really, really, a, in Germany, we'd say in Schmuckkästchen, it's like a, like a little treasure box. Yeah, and you'll have a pretty cool opening event, won't you? It's by Leverkusen coming. Yeah, it's a, it's a privilege, it's a dream that, you know, opening this stadium against a team who plays regularly in the Champions League, Bundesliga powerhouse, which uh, always normally is up there in the top places. And then uh, 
giving that that fan experience, you know, having a, a sellout crowd here. Uh, I mean, it, it will be it will be special one way or the other. Yeah. Well, this is a long-term project, but football is always about getting results as well. What are the expectations and what are the pressures that you'll face next season? You think? You know, I don't really feel any pressure to be honest. From the outside, or also from the inside, if somebody gives myself pressure, then it's myself. Uh, you know, because I'm always ambitious and uh, I don't think. Um, for me to have that excuse, we are an expansion team, you know, I think uh, that's not really something I, I like to live in in this world. So I rather, I rather push myself and push the team to a little bit higher expectations. You know, like in normal life, you always only make one time a first impression and we want to make a good impression by entering the league. Well, you made a good impression on me, if that's worth <laughs> anything. Good luck. All right. <laughs> Thanks. After an exciting few days in St. Louis, I'm leaving with an appreciation of the club's philosophy and purpose. St. Louis City SC are all about a high-energy playing style and a deep commitment to the local community. And as the first season approaches, one thing is obvious. The team's history is theirs to write. Creating your own world by, by building a club, uh, not just a club when it comes to infrastructure, but also the idea, the philosophy, the DNA, but even more important, the culture. I would hope that the lasting impression for anyone that, that, that encounters our organization, whether it's through our Futures program, our Development Academy, the first team programming, that their lasting feeling is that this organization, this club, could not exist anywhere else, and that it is wholly unique to St. Louis. St. Louis was always known for creating players and for people who are emotional, but also uh, extremely passionate about the game. So we go one time around, reset, shift the opponent. Yeah, we want an exciting product. With the expansion draft just around the corner and now we're gearing up to Leverkusen, will it transfer to the next level? So this is something I'm really excited about. This city is excited and you can feel it. You know, everywhere you go in this city, you can feel the energy uh, of the fans. Can't wait for that first game. Uh, we know it's going to be crazy. Uh, and I think it's safe to say it's already sold out, is it? I think I'm just excited to see what's going to develop with the fans. This ownership group always believed that this was bigger than sport. It was about a community. We're starting to see all of these neighborhoods come together and it's really exciting to see that vision actually become a reality. Of course, in the end of the day, football is always about results. But the whole thing, we are brand new. We created everything from ground zero. So we actually are the guys who are making our own destiny. We don't have anything left from the past which we need to satisfy other people. We are, we are St. Louis City. So, get everybody inside. It's the first time anybody's taken this pitch. Nobody can ever say that ever again. It's against a world-class opponent, playing by our principles, entertaining our fans, showing them what it means to play for St. Louis City. Lutz wants opponents to feel like they're coming to hell when they see the arch. Josh? Yeah. January 28th, right? We started this journey. We've had a lot of good moments, tough times, but we pushed through it. Tonight, it's about each of us as a group, right? This organization, this city, we play with pride. We fight for each other, because that's what we've done the whole season. And that's why we've had the success that we had. Right? One last time, take a look around. End of the season is always tough because it's not guaranteed everyone's going to come back next year, right? It's going to be a different group. And I love this group. We fight a good time. So tonight, one more time for each other, yeah? One more time, one more fight. We get after it. Come on. Let's go. 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 Let's go.